Because it's too complicated. It's like algebra. Why you gotta put numbers and letters together? Why can't you just go fuck yourself? This has turned out to be one of the most fucked up days of my life. Guess what I just found out? You remember Cyrus, that idiot that tried to take over the trailer park that time? Well, apparently he was in night school because he didn't get his fucking grade 10 either. We've been waiting for you. God, this tomato is amazing! Like, I can eat it like an apple. My secret is, I fertilize it with my own manure. It concentrated me to the exclusion of everything else. And the teachers couldn't handle him, so he's writing his fucking final exam with us today. And all these kids coming up to me saying, hey, did you see who was with Cyrus? Guess who was with him? Lucy. And she's doing that to try to make me jealous. She's banging Cyrus. It's bullshit. Like, do people want me to fail grade 10? Are you the Ten Commandments? No. We are one. And zero. We are the binary code that underlies the universe. The Ten thing is a common mistake. The look on your face. <laughs> it's a sort of grin. You want to know what kind? <laughs> was good it was like a drug i got all this dope stuff and lucy and sars in my mind today and you fucking idiots following me around I, I can't handle this guys but you make my words i'm gonna get my grade 10 and everybody else can just catch a boat to fuck off if he land i want to understand god can you help me did you not hear what we just said it's a binary universe so, uh, Dr. Walcott, in your letter, you said you had a new mathematical approach that would help me conceptualize the dimensions and string theory? Ah, yes, 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 yes. The world has just become so inhuman. So shut off your little camera, and I gotta go write my fucking exam. Wish I had time for a smoke, but I don't. Shut it off, guys. You're fucking pissing me off. The red light's still on in the front. God is yes and no. Left and right. On and off. Something and nothing. Positive and negative. Male and female. Light and dark. But before we get started, I am going to need to collect everybody's phone. Yeah? Why? Because they're little listening devices, aren't they? Yes, for people to spy on you and steal your work. Everyone's plugged in, blindingly inarticulate, obsessed with money, their careers, stupidly, arrogantly content. But why is there evil and suffering? Oh, without evil and suffering, there is no good and happiness. Oh, sure. Binary. Yeah, what happened to the good old days where if someone wanted to steal your work, they had to hire a prostitute to seduce you? <laughs> Who told you about that? <laughs> Just making a joke. Yeah, it's not funny when it happens. I can't talk to them. I fight them. I want to destroy them, even. Give him the final piece of information that unlocks the secret of the universe? Why not? At least one human being should know the reason for everything. <laughs> All right, now you're probably going to want to start with this notebook here. Oh, here we are. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> um. I crave interaction. I crave it. But you just can't anymore. They pull their devices out for every little thing. Pencils down. Who's smoking? Ricky. Richard, you're letting me down. I'm sorry, I'm addicted. Sheldon, before the universe began. No offense, Dr. Walcott, but I'm not sure this makes any sense. That's because I've written it all backwards. You... 
wow. That's wow backwards. <laughs> to reinforce their petty, convenient notions, to decide where they're going to shop, what they're going to eat, what movies they're going to watch, everything they ingest. Why does that upset you? Because what is left, my God? He's cheating. Look at the back of his arms and neck. They're freaking a cheat couple. Congratulations. You both failed grade 10. Hey, dummy. You're drooling all over your books. Oh? No. Zero was about to tell me the secret, and you ruined it. Hmm. You, um, I still don't get it. Well, plus the numbers are letters, and letters are numbers. I love him. <laughs> that doesn't have to be you. Okay. It's like this is all a game. And I haven't been told what the rules are. Or even worse, if I had, I am ill-equipped to follow them. Get out of my classroom. You gotta be kidding me. Get out. My fault. It's, you made me do it. I'm gonna have to talk to your mother about this, Jacob. I'm really disappointed. Get out of my Please class. Please don't call her. Get out of my class. Please don't call her. I never heard from one and zero again. Although I was once visited by nine when I had chicken pox. He was a lot less funny than he thought he was. Dr. Walcott, your work on time is revolutionary. Well, I would say thank you, but in my theory of time, you've already called my work revolutionary. I've already thanked you, and I hate repeating myself, so let's move on. <laughs> All I can do is provoke. Sir, it's knock knock. Who's it? Someone who just failed grade 10. I'll see you later. Well, you can't see me now because you kicked out of grade 10. What, what are you doing? The light is red, so I came to a stop. You're in a stolen cop car with a dead hooker in the trunk. You don't have to obey traffic laws. <laughs> I know I don't have to. The fun is choosing to. Wait a minute. Are, are you saying that time has multiple dimensions, the same as space? No, no, I'm not saying it. The math is saying it. Though it is the math that I invented. So yes, I guess I am saying it. <laughs> I become spiteful. I'm just as bad as they are. Fuck off, I gotta work with you. Have fun getting a job since you kicked out of grade 10, you fucking dummy. Richard, you're on thin ice. Eyes back down to your paper. Sorry, Miss Connelly. Yeah, those mixers are such a waste of university money. If they spent less money on frivolous nonsense and more money on science, we'd all be better off. You're a theoretical physicist. What more do you need than an office and a whiteboard? You might want multiple white boards, guy. You understanding any of this? I haven't understood anything since poop tomato. <laughs> My goodness, this is incredible. See, I, I'm just not seeing where string theory fits into all this, and that's where I think that you and I could be of help to each other. They? I'm, I'm worse. I fucking hate myself for it. Someday, my new formulas on entropy decrease due to quantum decoherence will need to be tested, and that will require funding. Your theories are pretty abstract. I wouldn't even know how to design an experiment to prove them. Sheldon's right. This guy, this guy's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, he's a little kooky, but a mind that can reconceptualize time probably has a reason for keeping a jar of toenail clippings that we just don't understand. I'm... I am so fucking lonely. Says the experimental physicist. <laughs> well, I know a place the university can make some cuts. Bye, Leonard. <laughs> one second, one second. He's got a point. In order to corroborate your string theory research, you'd have to create a black hole. I could spend months up here just going through his math. No, I think Sheldon might. Great. Who's gonna tell Amy we lost her fiance to a madman in the mountains? Hey, I drove. <laughs> Why is the world so base? Wouldn't that destroy the earth? Well, perhaps. But we'd all go to the grave knowing I was right. <laughs> I guess you could create a contained microscopic black hole. Huh. You know, how would this work in the context of a singularity? Yes, that's, that's, that's a tricky bit to explain. I assume you're familiar with non-abelian group theory. No, and how. Oh, you never forget your first group theory. Why is it so insensitive? Why is it so selfish? 
Why am I? Interesting. You... Welcome back, Leonard. <laughs> Sorry, you're out. <laughs> what did I do? Exactly. <laughs> this, I'm gonna put on a pot of coffee because there was a lot of math to go through. He said he didn't want a wild bachelor party. I am not for this world. Excuse me? I like tuna fish. Do you want it? I'll sell it to you for $5,000. So with this level of high power laser array, we would actually be able to solve the black hole information paradox once and for all. That's impressive. And how much funding were you looking for? $20 million. Really? Oh, I, I've never considered a long distance marriage. Well, listen, if you want to be a great scientist, you can't afford to be distracted. <laughs> How's the fundraising going? Oh, that depends. Raj, was that a yes? No, it's going badly. <laughs> how much have you raised? Well, with my Kickstarter campaign, selling my collectibles, and the money in my bank account, about $65,000. You think you can build that for $20 million? Not a chance. <laughs> I'm sorry, then why are you asking me for it? Because once you've spent $20 million, you're much more likely to give me an additional 50. It is amazing how much he's accomplished by isolating himself from the distractions of day-to-day -day life. Okay, please don't tell me you want to live like this. See, that's the strange thing. I don't. What is wrong with me? Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, not enough. It's so frustrating that science should be held hostage to the almighty dollar. Don't give up. You'll find that money somewhere. You really think so? No, but it's good that he has a hobby. <laughs> so actually what you're saying is with $70 million, you can build this. I can see why you think that, but no. <laughs> why don't I want this? Look how cool it all is. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with you. You have friends. You have a fiance. You have a full life. You ever thought of going to Vegas? Can you be more specific? Las Vegas? <laughs> oh, you mean gambling. Oh, well, that's not the worst idea. Um, it is the worst idea. You can't go to the Board of Trustees and say you gave Sheldon Cooper $70 million and have nothing to show for it. No, the only way you'd be able to save face is to double down. So 140. And then double again. <laughs> 280? You know what? You're right. Thank you for bringing me up here. But I think I'm ready to go home now. Really? You don't want to stay for dinner and talk more science? No, no, we better go. Ordinary people can't beat a casino, but mathematicians and scientists, they do it all the time. Yeah, a group of students from MIT took Las Vegas for millions, and that's MIT. Howard went there. <laughs> and then, good news, not quite, double again. <laughs> so, uh, what do you say? We have a deal? <laughs> Anyone seen Sheldon? Last time I saw Sheldon was this morning. Careful, don't say his name a third time. <laughs> you don't think he actually went to Las Vegas, do you? Barbara! <laughs> he said no? No, that's only a two-letter word. You're gonna have to double down is everything okay sir oh it's better than okay i am a physicist and i've been observing this wheel for hours and running a chi-square analysis which is how i know that the ball is far more likely to land on 32 17 or 5. how do you feel i feel great as a matter of fact if this line wasn't so long i'd ride this thing twice okay well i would ride it five times i will ride it 116 times so if you could hold off on replacing this wheel i'd like to make several large bets well, good for you, Pelican. Hey, look, understand this. I thrive in this environment. You guys get in? Yep. What's Pelican? Sir, would you come with us? Oh, no, I have to place my bet first. This is for science. 17 black. No!